Welcome to the VMware vSphere 6.5 product demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how vSphere HA automatically restarts virtual machines from within a vSphere cluster if one or more of the hosts are unable to run virtual machines due to a system outage or storage connectivity failure. We start the demo at the vSphere 6.5 home screen. vSphere HA has undergone some key enhancements to improve the recovery of these virtual machines from failed hosts. The first change is to the vSphere priority levels. When configuring HA restart priorities, we assign virtual machines to either a high, medium, or low priority. When a restart event occurs, the high priority virtual machines will be restarted first, followed by the medium, and finally, the low priority VMs. In vSphere 6.5, two additional restart priorities, named highest and lowest, have been added offering even more granularity to the restart order when virtual machines are restarted. In addition to restart priority levels, a new feature called vSphere Orchestrated Restart has been added, which allows users to find dependency rules to be created. This allows a more granular approach to restarting a set of virtual machines, or when application services must be started in a particular order. A common example would be a three-tier application, where there's a web tier, an application tier, and a database tier. The application tier requires the database to be available for its services to properly start, and the web tier will communicate with the application tier, so it must be available to properly serve the web request. In the event of a host failure, vSphere Orchestrated Restart ensures the services are started in the correct sequence. Let's look into a couple of failure conditions and what could be expected as the virtual machines are recovered. Here, we have a simple three-host cluster. This cluster hosts an application across four virtual machines colored in blue. Next, we have a multi-tier application colored in red. And finally, we have a standalone application that runs within a single VM colored in green. The blue application has dependency requirements. VM2 depends on VM1. VM3 depends on VM2 and VM4 depends on VM3. For the red application, VM6 depends on VM5, VM7 depends on VM6, and VM8 depends on VM7. As for VM9, it prefers to stand alone. Let's take an instance where host 1 were to fail. VM1 would start at the same time as VM8. This is because there's no dependency between VM8 and VM1. Since there is a dependency rule between VM1 and VM2, VM2 will wait until VM1 has restarted, and then the recovery will complete. Now, let's see what will happen if host 3 were to fail. In this case, all three VMs would restart at the same time. This is because VM4 depends on VM3, which is already running. VM5 has no dependencies, so it will start right away and VM7 depends on VM6, which also is already running. Restarting multiple tiers simultaneously may pose an issue for some applications. In this case, you wouldn't want VM7 to restart at the same time as VM5. This is still possible to do, but would require an additional dependency rule between VM5 and VM7. Next, let's take a look at a vSphere environment to see how this is configured. We start by logging into vSphere Web Client. Next, go to the cluster used to create these rules. Under Configuration tab, we have the options to create VM host groups. In this case, we have to define a host group for each virtual machine because that is how the VM host rules are defined later on. In this case, we want dependency of one VM to another, so each group will contain only one VM. We will create the first group and name it VM1. Next, we will continue and create eight groups with one VM per group.
Here, we don't need to worry about VM9 because it has its own VM with no dependency. Next, we create the VM host rules. And this is where we actually define the VM to VM rule type. In this case, we will create a new rule that defines VM2 dependent on VM1. Similarly, we will create VM2 dependent to VM3. And VM3 to VM4. This is all we need to create the first application or the blue application. In the same way, we will create the rules for the red application. So this completes the configuration of the application for the blue and the red application. Now, if one of the hosts were to fail within the cluster, the VMs would restart depending on the order here in the dependency configuration. This concludes the demonstration on the vSphere 6.5 restart priorities and orchestrated restart. Thank you.